Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We gotta get over to the other side, so let's go over to Benny's chair lifts here and uh, see how he's doing. So yeah, yeah, good day, Crazy Dixie. My name is Benny. Me and my brother Bazorn runs the runs the chairlift in this region. My chairlift is the safest throughout up the cliffs. So go on, Dixie, take a chance on me. Well, how how is it a chance if he's saying it's the safest? I, maybe because he means that there's actually a little bit of danger and it's still a chance. Uh, let's see if I, what if I say I walk. No, well, okay then, maybe later. Hmm. Eh? Thought there would be something funnier. But anyway, I do have to go through these chairlifts here, so let's just click through the dialogue here. And she just jumps right over the counter. <laughs> That's just how the place works. There's no side route, you just jump over the counter. And there we go. Whee! Next level, right here Kong Fused Cliffs. What do they mean by that? Well, we'll see. This is a pretty mean level. Look at this. We got fire on our tail, and it keeps burning up the rope. So it's very difficult to do any side exploring in this level. It's This is not a very friendly level. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Ow, pain, pain. At least it stops burning when you take a hit. I, did, I failed to explore thoroughly. That's okay. We'll be fine. Hopefully. Actually, I think I need Dixie. For a secret in this level, I'd like to uh, explore stuff as I go if I can. Yep, you switch ropes and everything. Gotta watch the copter side, switch sides with the copters. It's one of the most evil levels in the game. <laughs> Wait, what's over here? What's over here? What? Nope, 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 nope. Yes! <laughs> it's also an auto scroll stage, as you can tell there. So let's find that coin. Let's find that coin like nobody's business. Oh, that flame's going up really quickly. Oh yeah! Got it! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> and the auto scroll of doom starts once again. Except I've got a buzz in the way to switch ropes. Oh, what's this? What's the point of this? Oh, bear coin. Okay. <laughs> I just see a barrel and I. Jump in it. I trust the barrel blindly, I guess. Uh-oh. What does this lead me to? I don't know. It's another barrel coin. Why? Oh. It's getting tight. Very tight. Oh. Oh. Gotta be in the center. Oh, shoot! I can't go that high up to the top of the screen because it just won't let me. Ah. Well, anyway, I'm gonna get Dixie back anyway. I just said anyway twice in the same sentence. Ah! Didn't switch sides fast enough. Okay, I'm passing the spot where the bonus barrel was. So I think I'm gonna resume here. Um, I was just thinking, maybe I don't need Dixie for this level because you can't exactly switch Kongs on the fly uh, while you're on the ropes. So maybe I was mistaken on that. But Dixie, however, is probably the better character to use for this level because she's a faster climber as well as uh, she's smaller as well, so... And I just said as well twice in the same sentence. Clearly, grammar is just not working well for me lately. <laughs> and there we go. This is a spot where I died at before, and yeah, you gotta get in that barrel. Otherwise, the copter will take care of you pretty quickly. What's th what's this? What's... Oh, shoot! I seen bananas over there, and I was like, ah, I gotta go over there, but then the buzz popped out, and I was dead. <laughs> Oh. Well, anyway, I'm getting close to the banana junction here, so I guess I should resume after that hit, if I'll survive it. Oh, jeez. That's a lot tighter than it looks. Being an auto-scroll stage, you can get used to the jumps pretty easily. Whoopsie. <laughs> Except for that one. Oh, wait, what is this over here? It was just for a bear coin? All that for a bear coin. Really? <laughs> ooh! Ooh! Okay, calm down. Calm yourself. I gotta be looking ahead for stuff and stuff and just gotta relax. Wait, what's that? Uh, oh! 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 Oh, that's a bonus barrel! Yes, I will find the coin! But how successful will I be when the fire is at my back? Will I have to keep switching sides? Looks like it. Hopefully they don't 
throw me off by putting someone that isn't in the opposite direction as the one last. <laughs> but it, they didn't. They, were just, they just kept flip-flopping. Alright, so no. Diagonal ones. They're especially evil. Because look, look at their range as they go across the rope. And, and then you have this little tiny area of fire that would hurt you. And then you got the stuff behind the... Um, above the rope coming down at you, and yeah, <laughs> this is, as I said, one of the meanest levels in the game. <laughs> anyway, I need this. Uh, where's coin? Uh, oh, shoot. Um, is this the only barrel that I have access to? I hope not. Oh, jeez. <laughs> And that was the end of the level, too. Uh, oh, wait. Come to think of it, was that coin inside there? Inside that thing that I couldn't go through? Because I didn't see coin on the other side, huh? I have to look into that. Oh, no, I'm not taking that banana roll this time. All right, I'm coming to the top here. I think coin is actually inside that thing. Let's see. It is! Yeah, that's why I couldn't get through there before. Okay. Alright, everything, I think, is cleared out. Yes, it is! Whew! Yeah! Beats one of the toughest levels in the game with the toughest code on. Nothing can stop me now! <laughs> Except maybe the Lost World. <laughs> anyway, let's see Bajorn's chairlifts. Anyway, his chairlifts has some issues, so someone's got a wrench, and I think we know who's got a wrench. Do you remember who's got a wrench? I do. Well, it's going to be a part of the trading sequence later. <laughs> anyway, uh, once we fix that lift, it's going to lead up to that cave at the upper left corner of the screen that's really, really dark over there. But for now, let's move on. We're going to go over to Floodlit Fish. What is a Floodlit Fish? Well, we've got really dark area here. But don't worry. We'll be able to see our way around soon enough. Because we'll be able to find on guard and whack these fish known as Gleamin' Breams. And, oh, there it is. Oh, just kind of stuck on the edge. <laughs> I was holding down, but it wasn't helping. <laughs> okay, and watch. Bloop. See that? Lights up the area so that you can see a little better. But of course, you know, the idea of the level is to race to the next fish as you go. Uh, because it's going to keep getting darker as you go, and yeah. So, got to keep moving. Well, you don't necessarily have to uh, hit the fish as you go, because it's, it's not really that difficult to see. Uh, even with the lights out as d dark as it possibly can go like see I can I can play perfectly fine uh, With it looking like this like you see there's an urchin just gotta whack it when it's open. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal but uh, maybe maybe it is if your set like your TV set has uh, It's it's darker than your typical TV set or something like that But if so just turn up the brightness of your TV set and you shouldn't have any issues uh, with this level, even with the Gleam and Breams on off, because um, that's that's all this level really has in its favor in terms of difficulty is what it wants you to do is make mistakes because you can't see what you're doing. But I can see what I'm doing perfectly fine right here. <laughs> but I will hit the fish along the way just because they're funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Perfect timing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Some, oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it looked like there was going to be a path down that way, but it just seems to be like a, a fish um, home uh, that just hides itself off in the corner. Oh, there is something in hidden on these side paths. Bonus barrel! 90 stars, can I collect them in the darkness? Absolutely, because they, they show very well. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, they really show well. I mean, even... Uh, because their contrast is so much brighter than the rest of the area. I mean, yeah, they are darker uh, when the lights are off, but it's still, you can tell where the dots are. Uh, I, mean, I mean, where the stars are just by the brightest spots, which might look like dots to you. But anyway, there you go. 
And where does this poop me out from? I mean, where does it poop me out to? Like, where? Whoa! Like, where is the spot that I came from? Was it here? Yeah, there it is. That, that, that over there was the bonus area. So let's keep moving. Let's keep going, but carefully. Remember, only shish kebab the urchins when they're open. Remember that. Otherwise, you will regret it. Very much so. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's not that difficult to do so. Just um, maybe use them as practice in that open area there. But, yeah. <laughs> love those fish. I love fish in general, though. They're my favorite animal. Uh, silly looking critters, but yet very beautiful at the same time. It's bad. I'm kind of rambling here. <laughs> Anyway, what's, what's, is that just for the letter N? Like, who's gonna miss the letter N? You're more likely to miss this path than you would with the letter N, because the N is, it shows really well. <laughs> Bloop. There's a lot to explore in this little area. So I see there's multiple paths going on here. And I don't know which leads to a bonus, which is a dead end. Because you just never know if you're gonna be able to pass through a wall in Donkey Kong Country games. <laughs> Just how things go. As long as you keep hugging the wall, though, um, wherever it's a suspicious area, you'll most likely find all the secrets, though, along the way. But some of them are really, really obscure. I'm looking at you, Donkey Kong Country 2. Oh, yeah. I think it's the level that I'm thinking of is Glimmer's Galleon. It's got Glimmer the Fish that lights your way, and near the start of the level, there's a, a couple of crates that you can go through uh, at the top of the screen. It's... It's not nice. <laughs> Let me tell you. Anyway. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh. That was close. Um, what can happen if you don't time your sword attack on two urchins at the same time is you go through the first one, but you hit the second one that's closed, and then you take a hit from it. It's, it's kind of... Yeah, you gotta time yourself really well. Like, just when the first one that you're gonna hit opens. And you should, keyword should, be able to uh, uh, nail it, nail both of them, excuse me. Unless they're going like super hyper turbo fast, in which case you probably want to just avoid them. Which path am I supposed to take here? Like, oh! <laughs> Not that. That would probably be the worst path to take. But yeah, that's, yeah, there's like multiple paths going through this level here. How am I supposed to know which leads to bonuses and which ones are just there? Oh, I can't get through them because they, they stop at a certain point and I can't take another hit. Uh, maybe there's a way around them? Or maybe I'm forced to take a hit in order to find what's below those other two? Who knows? Possibly. Never put anything past Donkey Kong Country 3 or the Donkey Kong Country series in general. What is this? Banana path? What's the other path? Is the other path worth taking? I don't know. Well, there's the letter G. I suppose that's worth taking if you've been collecting the letters. Kind of. But I get so many lives that it's not really worth it to me. <laughs> I think both those paths lead to the same spot. Uh, yeah, I think it's the same thing that I passed up. Because there were those two bananas that I left there. Sort of like markers. Oh, you, you guys are like slow motion urchins. <laughs> Just gonna... Leave you guys behind, if you don't mind. Bloop. Maybe not, actually, it's kind of risky. Because On Guard might just do its uh, thingamabob, you know, its stab on its own, and you'd kind of be in trouble if it did that when it's closed. <laughs> yeah, so you got to be careful with your approach. And I think I missed a bonus barrel somewhere in there. Unless both the bonus barrel and coin are uh, in this area, but I doubt that. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think so. Unless there's only one bonus built, a bonus area in this thing, but I, I doubt that as well. <laughs> Especially since I see the flag is, uh, yeah, a little droopy. So yeah, I didn't find every, everything here. I'm not sure where I missed something. Probably something hidden in a wall. Ow! Oh, that was stupid. Bear coin by that gleaming and bream. That was after the um, urchin room. Oh! Those guys don't let you through that shaft. Hmm. Exp 
experiment, I don't think On Guard actually auto-targets these enemies, probably because it can't always hit them. Also, <laughs> that was the thing I was talking about before, that if they, uh, if the second one closes after you hit the first one, you're going to take a hit by it. But yeah, so you are safer um, next to the urchins than I thought you were. Oh, this is a spot that those urchins were blocking, but it looks like that you can't actually go through there, judging from the looks of the coral. But anyway, I'm gonna resume uh, my spot here, I suppose, because this is a spot that I'm pretty sure I didn't do all that well of a good job exploring. The other spots I did, though, so I think it was because I was more afraid of taking a hit than anything. <laughs> um, was I able to get... Wait, what's done? Is there something down below there? Because it looks like there might be. Uh, can I see in there? Maybe? I just want to take a look-see around here before I do something risky. This is by the letter G, by the way. Mm -hmm. Is there a gleaming bream around here? That would go. Oh, hello. Hello there. Hello. Oh, you're so cute. Bloop. Okay, now let's look up. Ah, oh. Okay, so there is something. Um, underneath those urchins, so I gotta time a stab to get through them very well. Yes! I made it in! But will I be successful? Who knows? I might be, I might not be. I'm just gonna follow these stars all the way over to the end. This actually looks pretty easy, especially if there won't be any enemies or anything like that. And, oh, yep, that was it. <laughs> But is that the last bonus area of the thing? It might be. It might not be. I'm gonna start selecting C. And it was. Yeah! And this part took me about a half hour to record. <laughs> so with that, I think it's a good time to end off the part here. Hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.